Hey guys, here's an advanced tutorial for anyone that has the $100 or $500 package with Social Flare. When you unlock those packages, you get all of these different methods right here. And I'm gonna show you what I'm on, what I'm personally doing for my personal account and what's working for me right now. And you can really just copy all these and do it for your page. So really, you know, bear with this video, watch it all the way through, watch it a couple times, make sure you apply everything that I am. So let's go straight into auto follow. When you have these packages, you can actually turn on multiple things. And if your account has been around for a while, then it's totally safe. If it's a brand new account, I wouldn't personally, you know, put more than one tool on. If it's like a brand new fan page, you only want one tool on at a time. So let's go into auto follow. So right here, I'm targeting different hashtags. So let's say you just wanted to target, you know, a business hashtag, what you would do is just type in any keyword that you want and you would just simply select any of these hashtags. What's going to happen is anyone that, that posted this specific hashtag in a photo, it's going to go out and start following those people, right? So if you're just starting, I would recommend to have this on very slow and work your way up. Mine, my account is pretty aged, so I went straight into medium. I didn't have any issues, but that may not be the case for you. I always, always recommend have everything on very slow to begin with, and then you can work your way up. Make sure your status is active, then hit save. Once it's saved, then it is saved. You can go to activity log to see how everything's working. Next request is gonna be in a minute. Looks like it's definitely working. So far, I did 24 follows, which is nice. And so that is basically it. If you want to experiment with places or people, you can, but I recommend having hashtags, putting in niche hashtags. So you can have auto follow on. You can also have the auto unfollow on at the same time. Um, just have them on very slow and work your way up. Next is going to be auto like, which I also have turned on right now for my page. I've been testing it and I haven't been getting any action blocks which is fantastic. So let's go straight into it. We wanna go into hashtags again, same thing. You just wanna search up different hashtags in your niche. And then what you wanna do is for you, you wanna start off on very slow and work your way up. I've worked my way up to slow. Maybe, you know, every other day or every three days, you turn it up a notch or every week you turn it up a notch. If you wanna be super safe, I would say every week to every month, you turn it up a notch. And so you can copy these settings. If you wanna have like the, um, like the feed from timeline, you can have that on. That just likes your own you know, people you follow. We're just gonna keep that off because we want more follows, obviously. Then you can see activity log, make sure it's running properly. Um, so we have so far auto follow on and auto liker on. Next, we could also have auto DM cold on. And so I don't have it on right now, but you could turn this on if you want. It's basically the same thing. You put in the hashtags you wanna target, put it on very slow when you're just starting. Make sure you turn the status to active and then hit save. And then you wanna make sure that you add your message, you add a custom message, and then you have to hit add message and then you hit save in that order for the messages actually to save here. If you don't see anything saved here, it's because you're not adding the message right there. So you have to add and then save. Add, save to add any messages. If messages aren't being sent out, it's because you're not adding it right there. Super common mistake. So we have all the hashtags in and we're on, I recommend being on super slow and then make sure you turn the status from act, uh, deactive to active, then hit save. So you can have all these on at once. And then my favorite right now is auto comment, which is basically sending out auto comments, you know, every five minutes of the day. And it's just the same thing. You add in your hashtags and what it's gonna do is it's gonna start, you know, leaving comments on anyone that posted this hashtag and the speed, make sure it's on very slow at first, then work your way up, mine's at medium. You can go to the comments here to actually add the comments, which is super important. Most people actually look over this. If you want it to leave comments, you have to add some comments, right? So you put the comment in here, then you hit add comment right here, and then you hit save. So once your comments are rocking and rolling, they, they're here, right? So 
I've been having this cruise all night, 57 actions. That's amazing. Um, so, I mean, this is going to work while I'm sleeping. Even if it's getting us three to five extra followers a night, that's still something, right? Uh, and then I also have mass voting reactions on for my personal page. And as you can see right here, I'm targeting different people, different explore options, different hashtags here. I have a huge list here up to like 200. And I just have polls, polls, answers, and quizzes on. That's it. I don't have the answers on right now. And I have it on active, then save. We can look at the answers. We need to make sure we're adding answers. If, you're, if you want to add a new answer, you have to make sure you deactivate it, save, add the answers, hit add message, then hit save. Then you go back to settings and then hit um, save right here. Sorry if that was a little confusing, but... Simply, if you want to add an answer on this one, on mass reactions, you have to add it, then save it, and make sure it's turned off. So make sure it's deactive when you add new answers in or it's not going to save properly. See if it's working, you just go to activity log and you can see everything going to work. And um, so, yeah, just turn this back on 20 actions so far. So all these can be on which is pretty cool if your account is more experienced. This is what this is looking like. It looks like it did like 1.5K actions yesterday, which is, you know, getting back to normal. Um, but if you use a combination of everything, you should be good to go. And then also, if you ever do use hyper DM, I would turn off mass reactions or mass polar. And this is gonna respond to everyone in your requested inbox. So let's say you have like 300, you know, requested inboxes. This is an automator, HyperDM is an automator that just responds to everyone in your requested inbox. And you could have some type of call to action, like, hey, thanks, follow me, here's my username. And you do that simply by going into the messages. It, let me just refresh it, it looks like it's uh, not loading properly. So we go to messages and then you make sure you add your message and it could be something like, hey, just wanted to uh, reach out to you. Um, hope you can follow me or something like that. And then it's just going to wipe out everyone in your request and you can hit active right here and then save. You could have all these turned on, especially if your account is more seasoned. So hopefully this helps and we will see you guys in the next one.